I have to say, I watched the first episode last night. Uh -huh. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Okay. I think this is one of the funniest, campiest shows ever. Um, but to go from something from the bridge to yes, this, yes. what is that like for you right well, now? Well, that is an actor's dream come true. At least it's my dream come true because the bridge was so heavy and dark. And I've, even my character there was kind of like the little, little the splash of color. Yeah. yeah. But even then, it wasn't as big as this show. But. You know, I, I had two films this year where my, the characters I played were real life character women, and they were very stripped of all of this. They were like real mothers that um, had a real uh, life journey. So to be able to go from that to something as big and colorful as this, I'm in heaven. This I is can, my cake and eating it too. <laughs> I can just imagine. I mean, the set looks so fun, colorful, vibrant. Beautiful. The cast is just, as they come, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You, you, you think you watch these characters on the show. What's a moment like on set for you? Like, what's one of the funniest things that's happened on set for you. I rarely can keep a straight face doing a scene with Eva. She's such a goofball and we they leave us room to improvise. So oh, there cool. are moments, okay, so the one, like the one episode when I'm explaining what my night was like with a Maori's character, Rodrigo, uh -huh. because we got in the sack, we hopped in the sack. She can't handle it because it's like me telling her I slept with her brother. So she starts gagging. The face that woman was making, and she would just be random about it. I they could not. They had to cut every time because I was losing it. Uh, when you guys are filming the soap opera scenes, I mean, did you ever watch telenovelas back in the day? Or? My, you know, I grew up going to the Dominican Republic every summer with my grandparents, so the telenovelas would play. You know, as long as they were on. Right. And I just remember as a kid the one episode where a woman went out after her ex-husband with a meat cleaver, and it was so. Horrible. My grandmother was like, ah, she got him. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Traumatizing. And then one thing that you really want people to take away from the show, I know we have lots of comedy aspects right. to it, but what, was, what do you really want people to take away from it? That it's really not about the telenovela, and it could be looked at as a farce, but the truth is, is that these characters are real people in your lives. It's a big, fat workplace comedy where you deal with ageism, where the, 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 the young comes in and replaces the old. Yeah. Uh, hookups. Yeah. Who doesn't like a hookup story? Um, breakups, uh, weddings, dating, relationships, everything, everything. So it's like, it's really real life issues in this broad setting. And then one last question. If you could switch roles with anyone on the show, who would it be? And can you give me a little impersonation? Oh my God, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I like Jose's character, Gael, because he's so, like, oh, oh, like, he's just a worried little, you know, just like, oh, that's all he does. He just, like, makes sounds. He just, like, oh, that's all he does. And my character, Mimi, is constantly like, Let's go. Get it together. You know? So, I love Guyan. <laughs> well, I wish you more success and the show's success. And thank, thank you. you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. So I nice appreciate it. Nice meeting you.